Hey, what's up guys? Are you sick and tired of your Amazon Fire Stick being slow? And everything that you want to watch always seems to buffer? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to fix all of that. I'm gonna walk you through certain settings on your Amazon Fire Stick that we can change that will drastically improve your experience. I'm also gonna give you some of my personal tips, tricks, and secrets so that you too can have the ultimate streaming experience on any Amazon Fire Stick that's gonna be way better than what you're currently using. All right guys, well if you're ready to learn, let's begin. All right, so you're sick and tired of your slow Amazon Fire Stick and I'm gonna show you how to fix all of it right now. Let's go ahead and slide into our Amazon Fire Stick settings. The easiest way to do this is just to go all the way over to the very end. Then you'll see a little menu appear on the bottom half of your screen. What we're looking for is something called My Fire TV. Now it might be called My Device if you're using an older Fire Stick. And if you haven't updated your Fire Stick in quite some time, you might find that it's located in that location. Let's all go ahead and click into My Fire TV together. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is click right there where it says About. Then we're gonna slide down here and check for updates. Guys, I can't tell you how many times my Amazon Fire Stick has given me problems and issues, and all I need to do is come in here, click Check for Updates, let it do its update, and that's all that it takes. Nine times out of 10, it's simply an update that's gonna make your Fire Stick run extremely well. Now, we're gonna finish this update and it might ask me to restart my device if there's an update that's necessary. So go ahead, go through the update, restart your device as it prompts you on the screen. Once everything's updated, then we'll go ahead on to the next step. All right, so now that my Fire TV is now up to date, the next thing that we want to do is come and hit the back button. We're gonna hit the back button one more time. And we wanna come back here to this menu because the number two most critical thing about your Fire Stick is that you're wasting a whole bunch of space. So in order to help clean up your Fire Stick and get rid of some unnecessary stuff, the easiest thing that you can do is slide over to where it says Applications. We're gonna click on that. Then we wanna click on Manage installed applications. Now this is going to bring up all of the apps that you've installed on your device. Now I can't tell you how many people install apps that they never use and there's probably dozens of those apps on your device just slowing it down taking up valuable memory. So what I want for you to do is come through here and select a couple of these apps that you no longer use. So let's say this one. We're gonna select it, we're going to come down here, and we're gonna click uninstall. Now we're gonna click confirm. Now it's uninstalling this application, freeing up a lot more space on my tiny fire stick that really doesn't have a lot of space to begin with. Come down here, select several of the apps that you know for a fact that you don't use. Here's another one. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna uninstall this app too and confirm. Again, we're just freeing up the space on our device so that now it can utilize that memory and that RAM and everything else much better running on a sleek, slim device. All right, so let's go ahead and back out of there. Now that you have deleted all of those unnecessary apps from your device, and you've made sure that you've checked everything for updates. Those are the two most critical things to speeding up your Fire Stick. Now, the third thing that I would recommend is your own Wi-Fi. Now, a lot of people, you know, they have their router in their living room right next to the TV and everything works great. But as soon as they head upstairs to their bedroom or downstairs to the basement, it doesn't seem to work quite as well. And guys, that's your own Wi-Fi causing that issue. Now you do have the opportunity to use an ethernet adapter and run an ethernet cable directly from your router to the Fire Stick, so it's a wired connection. I highly recommend that for people that want to use this device in an area of their home that doesn't really get great Wi-Fi. 
All right, so now that we've covered the updates, we've covered deleting the apps, and we've covered your own Wi-Fi speeds, let's go ahead and jump into a few of these settings on your device that you can change that's gonna make a drastic improvement. All right, so what we wanna do is right here on Preferences, let's go ahead and open that up. Now the first one that you're selected on is Parental Controls. Now if you have little kids that can access this device, you're gonna have the opportunity to turn this on or off and set parental controls for your kids. But more so, Privacy Settings. We're gonna go ahead and click on Privacy Settings. Now what we wanna do is select a few of these. The first one is Manage Sharing from Apps. Now this is going to make your apps talk to Amazon and Amazon talk to your apps and go back and forth all day long. I don't want my device doing that. So what I wanna do is I wanna click on that and I wanna make sure I turn this off. Just click your center button, slide over and click off. All right, now we can click the back button. Now we can go again to device usage data. Again, that's Amazon talking to your device and your device talking to Amazon. Just make sure that you turn all of these settings off that you do not want them to collect your app usage data, and you don't want them to give you the interest-based ads. So if you notice that any of these items are turned on, just make sure to turn them off. This is gonna stop Amazon from talking to your device and your device talking to Amazon back and forth hundreds of times a day. All right, so we're gonna hit the back button. The next one is the notification settings. We're gonna click on that and I have do not interrupt on. I don't wanna be notified of what these apps are doing in the background, so I wanna make sure that I turn do not interrupt on. Now you also have the opportunity to click right here on app notifications and go through each one and turn it off, just like this. See, all of the stuff is currently on and I don't want any of it on. Just go through and turn all notifications off. Again, it's just freeing up your device to do the things that you want it to do and not do all of these processes in the background. All right, let's go ahead and click back and back one more time. And the next item is featured content. Now, really quickly, I just wanna show you what featured content is. So from your home screen, it's this right here. So when you are on this, it'll automatically start playing an advertisement and you can hear the sounds of these ads. I don't want to have that going on using up valuable space. So in my settings, I wanna make sure that featured content is turned off. If you see that your content is turned on, just click your center button one time to turn it off. Then you won't be bothered by those automatic ads playing and the music or the voices behind it. So the next thing I want us to do is go into the Amazon App Store and download an app that's really going to help our device perform better. All you need to do is from the home screen, push left on your remote into that little magnifying glass. Push down and click your center button one time. Now it's gonna allow you to search through the entire Amazon App Store for whatever app it is that you're looking for. Today, we're looking for an app called Background Processing List. I'll throw it on the screen as I spell it. And I only made it to the third letter. I don't have to type everything. I just have to wait until it comes up here on the list. As soon as you see it appear over here, just slide down and click on it. This is the app right here that I want for you to download today. Just click on it. Now click on it one more time and the download process will begin automatically. As soon as the downloads finished, it's gonna go through the installation and once everything is finished, it's gonna say open. When you see open, just click your center button. Then it's gonna open this app. So what you're gonna have the ability to do is close down all of those apps that are running in the background on your device. So all you would have to do is slide over to where it says close all apps. And when you click on it, it'll then bring up every app that's running in the background, giving you the ability to close it. I also recommend that you clear the cache 
on any of those apps that are currently running. All right, guys, so now that we have talked about updating our device, deleting all of those unused apps, improving our Wi-Fi speeds, downloading that app background processes, and deleting everything that's running in the background, and also changing all of those settings that Amazon had turned on. Now, your device is fully optimized for you to enjoy all of those entertainment apps and be able to watch your movies, TV shows, sporting events, and much more buffer free. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for watching this video. I truly hope that you have a better experience with your Fire Stick. And if you've not done so already, please do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button and tell me thank you for all of the hard work that I put into creating videos like this and helping you guys with your Amazon Fire Stick. I really do appreciate each and every person who subscribed and I look forward to seeing each and every one of you real soon in my next video.